it wouldn't allow the helmet or like my head to move. So it just kept pushing and just popped and snapped my neck. I'm at a gypsy. Yeah, I, I actually did it on the sand track. So I even had, dude, that's the crazy thing too, is those neck braces, bro. I don't think those, I don't think they're good because I had that on and the doctor explained to me. So when I crashed, it was in sand. So I swapped sideways, say this is my helmet and this is the neck brace. My yeah. helmet stuck and the brace, it, uh, it wouldn't allow the helmet or like my head to move so it just kept pushing and just popped and snapped my neck and uh i mean you gotta the way i look at it now you got, look at james stewart ricky carmichael they've never wore neck braces and they've never you know got mm. super hurt like that and now once these neck braces came out think about how many more people have been paralyzed broke their necks their backs it i don't know it's it's a uh I don't know about that. Hey, I'm kind of on the same fucking wavelength with that because, you know, you really, it's like heavy to say, to be honest. And yeah, yeah I, I, don't, I don't know, but I mean, I think about the people that I didn't want to blow neck braces out. I didn't want to blow neck braces out like that, but I'm, I'm not one to hold shit in, bro. I tell the fucking truth. And, uh, the only thing I think they are good for is say you end over a jump and land on your head. Yeah. It's like just stop going help. backwards. Yeah. Exactly. But the sideways shit, think about what I just said. It, it had nowhere to go and it kept pulling and just fucking snapped my neck, snapped my vertebrae. Yeah. Well, man, like you look at the 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 people that um the people that got neck injuries like right around that time, like Ernesto Fonseca um had his injury um there's a couple guys in australia that had his injury um there's like i know like i know someone that fucking died um that had one and there was like a sort of an injury that that came from something being around that area um and i mean Landing i know courier. yeah I, what was he wearing one as well yep i mean bro if you go look if you like really go look deep into it and uh, see when neck braces came out and how many more like broken necks and paralyzations there were, mm. you would everyone would be mind blown, bro. So, yeah, I don't know and, about those things, and I'll never wear another one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, dude, I I won't wear one either. Um, I mean, even like, dude, I broke my collarbone like four times wearing the, those fucking things like i never had a broken oh yeah they'll break those I, too <laughs> yeah i was having like i was having i forgot these... who oh no sorry go ahead dude i forgot who it was but uh you know like the it might have been trevor doney rest in peace trevor doney by the way i just went to his funeral um but uh yeah he uh had a neck he had a neck brace on and uh he crashed, and you know the piece that goes down your back? Mm hmm. It pushed in and uh, broke his vertebrae in his back. So it's just like, dude, there's too much shit that it could break. It's like, what's the point? <laughs> like, like, yeah. just rock it without it, bro. Look at Stewart and Carmichael. They're still good, and they, they crash harder than all of us. They never yeah. wore a neck brace. Yeah, That's no, how I dude. See it. I don't know. No, I mean, I'm pretty much of the same opinion. And I mean, I know um, the the other thing, too, that you think about, like, so knee braces. If you're wearing knee braces, you're probably going, if you get hit in the right spot, you're either going to break your femur or you're going to break your tib fib. And you're going to break it right around the end of that knee brace. That's why, hey, I still wear knee braces. Because you know what? I oh, wanna, yeah, for sure. I don't want to fuck my ACL. I know that a straight snap for femur. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll take that risk. But I definitely know when I'm putting on knee braces that if I land the wrong way, there's pressure because it's like, here's the thing, and it pushes against that that bone. But I'm fucking good with that because I'd rather that than blow out my ACL and be out for X, Y long. But so it's like you apply that same concept to a fucking neck brace. I just don't know that I want to, I don't know that I want to risk anything in that area. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't support neck braces, man. <laughs> Just, but hey, uh, I will say with uh, the, with like, obviously to take that position and to be honest and open about where we're at on those, I will say that 
the company that started and first invented those did it with the best of intentions. So there's like at no oh for point, sure you know I'm I mean? not yeah I'm yeah. not saying anything like that, but you got to look at you know the, I, know, I know yeah I just want to like yeah and that's and what I just the doctor make, told me so yeah. And I just want to make that point known. It's not like that. It's not like uh, we're we're thinking that there was some negative intentions going on when companies started no, making those no. products. Like there's none no. of that shit. But when you do go back and you do look at it, there's been a lot of shit that those yeah were involved in. So honestly, shout out to them for going out of the way, you know, to you know, screw it. But um, yeah, no, shout out. To- If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.